All right, so I thought we'd do a uh, demo quick of how interference can be picked up on a cable. So usually that interference is picked up on the cable due to improper grounding. So just for starters, we got a cable here. And on the cable, we have a drain, which is this wire, and a shield, which is this foil. So this foil and this wire are sandwiched against each other. The foil is wrapped around the wire inside of the cable. And that runs along the length of the cable. And when we're talking about grounding the cable or the shield or the drain, we're talking about uh, grounding the drain here. And this drain is making, is in contact with the shield along the length of the cable. So it also grounds the shield. And that's the purpose of the drain. So we've got our cable here. And just for demonstration, we're not going to connect this to anything, but I'm going to just coil this up quick and we're going to just throw it in our cabinet here. We kind of have a messy cabinet that uh, we're using to demonstrate. We're just going to lay this in the cabinet, not connected to anything, and we're looking at it with the scope. So the scope is connected to one of our wires running into the cabinet. And as you can see, we're already picking up some interference there. The cabinet is powered on and the drives are enabled. And so no shielding hooked up or grounded. The wire's just floating there. We can see all the interference we're picking up. So one of the demonstrations we're gonna do is I'm gonna just push this drain here and I'm just gonna push it onto the cabinet. And the cabinet is grounded, so we can see the scope showing on or I removed the drain from the cabinet now I'm going to touch the cabinet again you can see how the when the drain is connected to ground how that cleans up the interference now we also have a resistor here and we're going to do the same thing with a resistor in parallel we're going to drain off or the resistor is going to remove that interference from the line so I'm just going to connect that resistor to the cabinet also. You can see it clean up. Maybe not near as clean. I'm going to remove it, then put it back and just leave the camera on the scope there. I'm going to remove the resistor and we're going to put the shield back on. And we can see that shield is just a little bit better than our resistor, the size resistor we have for cleaning up the interference from getting into our cable or our wire. So there we go. We can see the interference uh, being picked up by the wire, especially, I mean, it's able to get there when our shield and our drain isn't properly grounded. Uh, so, what's the, why would you have a resistor and a shield here? So, a shield uh, and drain, it's just wrapped around the, the wires and protecting them from noise. And there's no signal or anything going on with that shield. And we, so that's why we can just drain it straight to ground without hurting anything else. We just want to remove, it's all it has is noise on it and we're just removing the noise and putting it straight to ground. While a resistor, we would want a resistor, let's say this wire is a signal wire and it's unshielded and there's noise in that wire being picked up and we want to drain that noise. That's where you would get an appropriate sized resistor and using it you could then put it in parallel to drain off and filter off that noise. So that's what we were demonstrating when we put the resistor to ground in line with our wire here. It was filtering off or draining or pulling the, I guess you could say, the uh, noise from the uh, wire. So if we had a signal wire, we would probably, I mean, it's always best to just use a shielded wire uh, for everything, but if you needed to, you could use an appropriately sized resistor to filter off that noise. And yeah, uh, so this is really important in demonstrating why we need proper grounding in the cabinet. Uh, so we want all those shields, all the grounds going to one single uh, grounding bus bar inside the cabinet. Ground loops, uh, so in this example, we're using the metal cabinet as a ground, but even with a metal cabinet, we know the cabinet's grounded. 
we should always run all of our shielding to all to the same point inside the cabinet and that's to prevent ground loops and different sneak paths for the ground to try to uh, go through the system and just cause other issues so we want all those grounds to one single point and really shielding isn't we don't need to ground it on both sides as you saw we just have the one side connected on this cable and that cleaned everything right up so we just need at least one side of the shield on one end of the cable connected to the ground so that's the demonstration hope that helped Hey everyone, I invite you to create a build thread on Centroid's free CNC technical support forum. That's centroidcncforum.com. Let me give you an example. If I had an acorn, I would enter into the acorn forum and then click on create a new post. There's a great post down here called what is a build thread and describes the advantages and why you would want to take the time to create a build thread. Here's a nice example of somebody's photo album of their particular machine tool project. When you create a build thread, you'll get answers directly from Centroid employees as well as Centroid power users on the forum.